In this video, we're going to talk about a special type of conjunction known as the coordinating conjunction. Now, I didn't put that up here. It's kind of a mouthful, the coordinating conjunction. And I really don't want you to know it unless your teacher mentions it and calls it the coordinating conjunction. I want you to think of it as something very different. I want you to think of this coordinating conjunction as fanboys. No, I've not completely lost my mind. Instead, fanboys is a really easy way to remember the seven coordinating conjunctions. What are they? Dun, 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 dun. For, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. Now you may think, oh, I can't remember that. But I think two hours from now, if you think fanboys, you'll at least be able to get five of the seven, if not all of them. Now the good news is we've already dealt with and, but, or, and yet in the preceding video on introduction of conjunctions. So now, we just want to make sure we cover all our bases and look at the others, including for, nor, and so. And so happens to be the most important of the bunch. And really the only reason I'm showing this video is to be exhausted, to be thorough, because I think when it comes to writing, besides so, for and nor aren't that common. Nonetheless, you're going to encounter them a lot when you're reading books, so we should know how they function in the sentence. Let's take a look. He was elated, for he had received first prize. Now, why am I using the word elated when throughout these videos I use words like happy? I use simple words. Well, the idea is to show you that when for is used as a coordinating conjunction, it's used in such, it's used rarely. Basically, it's used in writing that uses words like elated. So more advanced, mature writing. Elated means again, very happy. Very happy. He was very happy. Why? For he had received first prize. So you can see that we have here an independent clause. He was elated. Subject, here's our linking verb, he was elated. For he had received first prize. He had received first prize as a sentence in its own right. So two independent clauses. In the preceding video, we talked about joining those with a comma and the conjunction. And that conjunction, of course, here is for. Moving on to the next one. School requires lots of hard work, so you should study every Day. Okay, this is common. We need to use so a lot, conjunction, it's sort of like saying therefore, but therefore is a big, stuffy, boring adult word, which we'll encounter in upcoming videos, but not for a while. For now, know that so is much more important, especially when you write. So school requires lots of hard work, so you should study every day. Again, two independent clauses joined together by the conjunction, and notice the comma there. And finally, neither the phone nor the clock work. Notice I don't have a comma here because neither the phone is not a sentence, though the clocked work is, but they're not two independent clauses in this way, so we're not going to bother about a, a comma. And we're going to learn later on this is a special type of conjunction. Also, when you have the word neither in here, don't worry about it. For now, we're focusing on the nor, and that's our final conjunction. One, again, that you don't see too often. You will see it when you have the word neither, but in general, you probably won't use it too much in your writing, but as long as you know the fanboys for, and, nor, but, or, yet, and so, you've learned the point of this video.